Hey, good morning. You're probably wondering from the uh, title, waffles on a blackstone? I mean, how are you going to get waffles off of a blackstone, right? Well, I have one of these uh, camping waffle makers, you know. They're the ones that are usually uh, with the rod. You just take it out. We're going to put this on the blackstone. It's heating up. I'm going to let that heat up and then uh, let's go inside. We'll make the batter. We'll come out. We'll add it. We'll make the waffles and uh, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> All right, so for today's waffles, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use some Bisquick. You can make a, you know, you can make your waffle batter. Put a couple of cups of uh, Bisquick, one egg, and... I got this cup full, but it's one and a third cup of milk, just like the directions on the box say. So since we're just, uh, you know, we're using the Blackstone, making up a quick batch of uh, waffles, easy peasy. All right, and it's just that easy. And we'll take this out to the Blackstone and see how we do with some waffles. Okay, we're about 300 almost 325 degrees just tilt that up there I want to make sure that you spray some oil or I've got some of this spray butter I'm gonna put on here a nice coat don't want it to stick do we okay I'm just gonna pour some in there not that much Close it up and let it go for about three minutes. And I may end up flipping that, but we'll go three and go okay, from there. That's about two and a half. What I'm going to do now is just going to flip it over. Let it go another couple of minutes on this side and we'll give it a check. Just under three minutes. Let's see if we can get this thing open. See if it worked. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Get that off of there and make another one. If that comes out. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> All right. Okay, a little bit stuck, that's all right. Get that out of there. One more. Okay. Let's get this filled up. Close it up. We'll let it go for three minutes on this side and we'll flip it again just like the last one and uh go from there all right let's see what we did with this one look at that all right so i'm going to flip this over again <laughs> it's stuck a little bit we'll let this go for about 20 more maybe 30 more seconds and we'll try to get it out of there all right let's check it out oh, look at that all right, let's uh, try to get this out of here. All right, that one came out really nice. Look at that. Get this next one done, then we'll do a taste test. All right, let's get these on a plate. Look at that. Both sides. We'll go ahead and... Uh, Stack these up just like that. Get some butter on them. Get some butter on that other one. Now, you know, these are just bisquick ones. So, I, I get it. <laughs> they're not going to be outstanding, but you know what? They're going to be good. Okay, and I'm going to use some of my uh, pure maple syrup on here since I have it. And then we'll uh, take this out, do a nice taste test for you. There you go. 
waffles on a black stone griddle. Okay. What do you think of that? Waffles on the black stone. Using one of those camp waffle makers without the rods on it. There you go. Look at that. Take a bite of one. Mmm. <laughs> Those are pretty darn tasty. Mmm. All right. Well, if you ever want to make waffles on a Blackstone, you gotta have a waffle maker, right? And, what, and that one right there worked perfect. Mmm. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day.